Hi, this is Bravo Exo. Let me introduce you to my router, the Peplink Pepwave Max on the go. It's a cellular router that supports up to four USB modems. It has an additional Ethernet port for wide area network, and it also supports uh, Wi Fi as one. So you could even get uh, your local Starbucks wireless as a source of your internet if you are nearby. So it supports up to 250 modems, 100 carriers, more than 100 carriers in over 70 countries. What I like about this is how I could mix and match sources of internet for my daily use here at home so right now I've got uh, four sources of internet connected to the to the router I've got a local uh, telephone provi internet provider via my cell phone attached via USB which is globe I also have the uh, competing uh, smart telecommunication LTE stick on another USB port. Then I also got uh, uh, a landline my DSL from PLDT, which also owns smart but this is uh, DSL so there's an Ethernet to USB adapter that I'm using and finally f cable modem provided internet via Sky broadband okay. so what I like about uh, this router is that it shows you individually how much data is being used for each connection so uh, since they are all active they're they're listed here and let's see how much each one uh, contributes to the overall bandwidth so let's test let's pull back all the rest and test out globe first So you'll see in real time how much data is being pulled from the, the ISP. So it's aver averaging uh, nearly three, but it picked up Sky Broadband, so that's not good. pick a good server for this one
pick that globe now. So inside the house, I'm getting almost six, I guess. Yeah, six down. And really pathetic upload speed from Blue. Not a total surprise from them. Okay. Let's try this time. Smart Bro. Now inside the house, I've got smart bro LTE signal only in one spot unfortunately that's just right above the router so I'm gonna turn off or deprioritize globe and we should see smart when we refresh this Let me refresh this also. Oh. Did we get it? Huh. That's a problem with Chrome. It usually sticks to A preferred server for quite a bit okay got it to pick up smart and as you can see it's getting activity here okay we are on smart broadband let's test it out this is supposed to be LTE And it's inside the house LTE signal. So it pick up the right server, although it's in Manila, it should be the same. So not bad, not good either, but not bad. It's eight megabits down. It should blow away anything right now for upload speeds I apologize I have a cold so as you can see the activity says it did peak at 10 mbps at one point Let's try the DSL connection. to make sure it's working let's go to YouTube yep it's working so you see we're getting uh, activity only on that part on only on PLDT my DSL so let's check if it detect the correct server yep it did detect the correct server or its best server 
it is a 8 megabit down 1 megabit up connection that I have for that one it's my oldest connect ISP so it's the most reliable as well Unfortunately, it's only this much on upload so making YouTube videos uploading them really is a drag on PLDT Okay, now my newest connection is Sky Broadband Let's try that out Test again if it's working. Should be working now. Let's refresh speed test. Destiny IP pool says here and Destiny is owned by Sky Cable which is the provider for Sky Broadband let's see if it can detect the Sky Broadband server it did not doesn't matter it is a 50 down connection a five up at least I hope <laughs> okay let's see if we can coax it to that sky broadband server just like we did with the uh, globe connection earlier sky cross that save okay oops where am I going okay let's test again and booyah it is 50 up a fifth down. Five up. I wish it's more than five. It has four upload for strings on the Doxis three cable modem. Oh well. Well, so what's nice about the Peplic Pep Pepwave Max OTG? I could aggregate connections. So I uh, let me aggregate uh, my two fastest ones. Check this speed test. Fortunately speed test is a mostly threaded application so it does aggregate connections when they're multi-threaded just like BitTorrent since torrents are multi-threaded so they have multiple connections they establish multiple connections this too does it figured out it can run so 
So what happens here is that both this uh, Sky Broadband and PLDT are contributing to the connection or the speed. See, there's activity on DSL and there's activity on Sky Broadband. Nice.